Good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you another exciting attacking game played at 2022 Reykjavik Open. We have already covered the game from that tournament, it was Pragnananta vs Laurent Pauli and here is another game, another brutal attack which Pragnananta unleashed against French chess grandmaster Mathieu Cornet. Cornet won the French chess championship in 2016. This is a game from round 8 and Prague opened up with d4. Cornet's answer was knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. Nimzo Indian defense is on the board. We have this standard normal variation. b6 and an exchange on d5 fallout. Bishop d3, bishop b7, queen c2. White is starting to build up pressure down b1 h7 diagonal and at the same time is preparing castling queenside. Bishop goes back all the way to f8 and there comes knight g5 attacking the pawn. Prague is playing very aggressively and g6 was met with h4. Bishop g7 and Prague castled queenside. So far so good but in here Cornet made a provocative knight g4 move which is allowing white to destroy opponent's kingside. Look, this bishop on d3 is very dangerous, that's why. According to Stockfish, you should neutralize it as soon as possible. Bishop a6 is the move in here. But in our game we have knight g4. Black is coming after this pawn on f2, but at this point already Pragnananta landed a heavy punch. There it goes, knight takes h7. Black accepted the peace sacrifice, but better is knight takes f2. Okay, the game didn't last long. Let's first finish it up and then I will turn on stockfish. We will see what's what went wrong in black's defense. f6, black decided to keep this pawn as a shield, but a position like this you can't save. Knight c6, knight e2. Prague sees that somehow black managed to build up a strong defense. That's why he is now transforming his knight to an attacking square. Queen d6, knight g3, knight e7, rook h7, f5. Looks like that black wants to get rid of this pawn, but there is no time for it. There comes knight h5. Bishop f8 and the pawn on f5 dropped. Yeah, this is a destruction. Knight f6, bishop b4, c5, d takes c5, b takes c5, bishop takes c5, black resigned. Uh, this queen should guard the knight on f6. If you play, for example, queen e5, then knight takes f6 check, followed by bishop d4. There is no defense. That's why, as mentioned, after bishop takes c5, black resigned. So now uh, we will go through the game while stockfish is running. As you can see, yes, bishop a6 is the move in here, but we have a dubious knight g4 move. Seems like that I didn't use this word for a long time, right? Yeah, it's dubious. And in here, instead of rook d f1, we have knight takes h7. Yeah, knight takes h7, then popped up as the first, as the top move. Let's go for it. King takes h7, after which the evaluation again changes in white's favor. Better was knight takes f2, if here, then f takes g6, and if here, then knight takes h1. Turns out that in this line, black is managing to survive. You are not only moving away your knight from h1 where it's hanging, but also you are taking under control this square and this square as well, not allowing uh, an unpleasant check from f1. I don't know, maybe having control over h5 is not that essential. f1 is more important, of course. Bishop e1 trying to get rid of this knight, but then black is setting up a very solid defense. Rook d2. Now rook f2 is coming, 
rook takes e3, rook f2. This is a very crazy lie suggested by Stalkfish, but it looks very nice. And here is how black can survive. Although I'm not sure how black can hold to this position. Black has two minor pieces, a rook against a queen. But these pawns are also strong and yeah, that's going to be very hard for black. Instead we have king takes h7 and there comes h5. The rest is history. Knight e2. Knight e2 is again the top move, right? It's amazing how Prague is managing to find the best moves in these complex positions. Yeah, this was definitely an easy work for him. Then knight h5 came and very quickly opponent's defense crumbled. Takes, takes. Bishop c b4 was also top move, right? Yes, this is amazing. Takes, takes. We have a resignation. There is even a forced mate at this point, right? Yes, there is no defense. This is it, dear chess lovers. This was a very nice attack. Hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to share with your friends as well. And in the end, the chess puzzle, where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.